years as he's done for all but one game this year, and I know it's the rookies that you talked about, Leah, but also take a look at what Kia Nurse and Zowie B, as you alluded to as well, and Laisha Clarendon. They're going to have to be complete with a team effort to come away with another win today and stop what has been one of the most efficient teams of this young season. And there is the former coach of the New York Liberty, Bill Lambeer. Meanwhile, Walt Hopkins coming off his first career coaching win. And what he was saying post game, you know, act like you've been there before. I was trying not to celebrate <laughs> until I got back with the team. And no celebrations in this quick season. Day off and you're right back on the saddle. And that's what he has been preaching to his team. The Liberty is focused. Stay locked in and try to build upon the season's best effort. One of the big things that Walt Hopkins was talking about was control the controllable. And each player he felt did that against Washington. Tip is won by New York and we are underway. Our officials today, Roy Gobain, Tiara Cruz, and Kevin Fink. Quick drive to the bucket, and Laisha Clarendon gets the game's first points. Well, there's no question what they're going to do, try to attack Swords. Uh, you know, sure, her lateral movement is a little bit you know, susceptible and uh, working at it right away. Wilson rises, too strong in the rebound in the hands of the Liberty. Here comes Clarendon. The Leader with more than 13 points a game for New York. Quick hand off to Zowie B. And that doesn't draw iron. Kayla McBride, the All-Star, has it on the perimeter. Now into Carolyn Swords. On the touch to Lindsay Allen. In the paint. Took too many steps. And the turnover gives it back to New York. Took too many steps, but drove right into traffic. For Vegas, I think they need to control the tempo and hit the boards hard. When they're successful on the boards, they usually come away with a W. New York Liberty, limit their turnovers. Take care of that basketball and have a balanced attack. Clarendon was open for three. As it's a nice backdoor feed. Quickly, 4-0 New York. Good spacing. The ability to go one-on-one. -on -one. After the basket by Odom, big grind, no good. Rebound from McCautry. We talk about limiting those second chance opportunities. Got to box out, but here comes New York. That was the key for a big win for New York, was limiting Washington to one offensive rebound in the game. And here's a turnover, two on two. McBride, back to Lindsey Allen. Poetry in motion to tie the game. Delay a game in Las Vegas, first warning. That a delay a game warning against Lindsey Allen after catching the ball after she made the hoop. We, we talk about having good hands and watching at the other end and just the spacing right there for the Liberty. Nice job with the backdoor cut right to the hoop. Zoe B kind of setting it up. Somebody's got to come back to the basketball shot. Seven on the shot clock. Double team comes. Clarendon kicks it out. Stokes for three. No good. And a foul going the other way against New York. That's what you want to see, right, Lee? Just active movement and that will to try to get the basketball. Yeah, you know, and that was one of the things Coach uh, Walt Hopkins had spoke to us about earlier in the season. You know, we're almost a third of the way through here. Um, you know, sometimes we get flat and stagnant, and we've got to keep moving to the ball. Dottry nearly loses it. Now trapped by a double team. Throws it away. Nurses pass up ahead. And it's another lay-in. Odom with two more, the only rookie starter for the New York Liberty following the injury to Sabrina Ionescu last week. McBride off the mark, and another chance for New York to run. Yeah, look at how they're spreading the floor. Five out. Oh. 
Zowie B, another nice pass inside, and the finish supplied by Nurse. Allen drives inside, uncontested for two more. All the attention on the other side of the floor. And Allen, the former New York Liberty draft pick, gets her second basket, another lay-in, Kia Stokes. Good drag screen action. Asia Wilson on the block for Swords, and a nice block inside. New York controlling this game so far. Nurse to the rim. No contact. Allen leaves it for Wilson and hits it for her first basket. Sean, it's been a few games since we have seen New York. You and I have worked together to see New York live. And there is no question from the last time that we've had them live to now, you can see their growth, their communication is much better, their movement without the basketball is a ton better. Amanda Zowie B's three. Now all five starters for New York have scored, and that's some of the balance you've been talking about. On offense, they are getting solid spacing. They're running a five out with a high screen. And a good job, you know, and that's when Zoe B, Sean, is really at her best with the, with the back to the hoop. You know, she can kind of survey where everyone is, where she's going to pass or she's going to back you down, take you off the dribble. Chantry called for a hook on the inside, and that'll be her first personal. The passing has been well, is going well so far for New York. Five assists on six made baskets. Kian Ertz on the drive. Lead to an open three. Too strong from Odom. McBride the rebound. Wilson with space. Yeah, connect. Dowie B, the rebound for New York. Open three, and she puts it in for her second of the quarter. We have talked about Amanda in the open, and she has been on fire from behind the water. Timeout, Bill Lambier, Amanda Zowie B, leading New York to an early lead. of recognition and for a certain person who has been victimized by police brutality and this week we recognize and honor Michelle Cousseau who was killed three days before her birthday back in 2014 and because of her mother's actions to raise awareness of her death it helped inspire the say her name campaign and like we mentioned Leah something that's going on not just for Breonna Taylor but so many other victims that we don't get to hear their stories told too often. No, and uh, the WNBA, Social Justice Council, uh, and Angel McCautry was a, a big, big help in, in bringing her ideas for, to the forefront with the Brianna Taylor name recognition throughout the entire season. And WNBA women are strong on and off the court looking for different ways to make awareness to social injustice. Jackie Young misses on the other end. New York throws it away. Bill Lambier called the timeout with his team trailing by eight. And putting in De'Erica Hamby, Jackie Young, and Danielle Robinson, he calls his energy group off the bench. McBride rises, misses. Hamby the rebound, and his foul going up. But that's what 
Bill Lambier wants to see is Dierica Hamby, who's having a standout season, putting up yeah. career numbers in just about every category. And, and she's really started to come on, Sean, more so the last three games. She's found, I think she's found her groove. Her numbers are up. And, uh, you know, that's all, this, you know, the progress, the progression of this very short and intense WNBA season. That's one of the biggest assets she brings to the floor is her rebounding. Mm -hmm. And off the second chance, gets two points to Vegas, and that's what's going to be important all game long. She's had four straight games with eight or more rebounds. Four of the 10 for Vegas have been off second chances so far in the quarter. Clarendon drives right by her defender and lays it in with the left hand. Well, Vegas started ahead worrying about that ball going back to Zowie B. And I think that was enough to allow Clarendon to get to the hoop. Good hustle, unfortunately, tipped back out of bounds there by New York. Last touch by Nurse. But New York looks locked in. No hangover after that no. first win where they held the Mystics to 66 points. And you know, look, look at Alicia Clarendon, she's pointing her finger, telling, directing everybody where to go. She is really, along with Zoe B, one of the clues to the squad. Jasmine Jones, the steal and the layup. What a start for New York. Danielle Robinson. Creates the separation. Cuts the deficit to eight. Las Vegas, which has been one of the teams, the league's best defenses. They're getting picked apart right now. Joyner Holmes, another rookie off the bench. With the layup for the Liberty. And nearly another steal. Young spins inside, hangs, doesn't get the roll. And a foul on the Vegas guard. Aggressive effort. It's a cluster of four New York players attacking the glass, understanding that Bill Lambeer, who is extremely unhappy right now, they've got to attack the glass. Looks about as happy as Billy Zabka and he's a karate kid. <laughs> well, doppelganger for him. <laughs> now the key for this New York unit is how can they continue this strong start? Jocelyn Willoughby. This is the shot from close range. Nice pass to Wilson. She's locked in. Yeah, you saw the strong hands of Asia Wilson just kind of grab that ball out of the crowd and go back up with it strong. Jones, who's strong, offensive rebound for Stokes. Here's Megan Walker. Shot clock down to five for Willoughby. Walker at the end of the shot clock, can't put it in. A lot of youth on the floor for New York. And a foul call before the pass to Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson down in the paint. Ball slips inside of her. She just grabs it wide away. Nice and strong. Big step forward towards the glass, making it easy for her, too. Trying to get more touches here in the final minutes of the first quarter. Wilson wants the ISO. And hits the tough J. For the WNBA this year, Asia Wilson now has six points. That's where the deficit sits for Vegas. Holmes in trouble. Willoughby, nice pass out to Stokes. This is the open tray. Young feeds Wilson again. inside to Hamby. Hey. It goes by the defense with the righty scoop. New 
New York won for its last five from the field. Looking to close the opening quarter strong, and there's what they did well to start the game. Been very successful with that backdoor cut. Pulling the defense out towards the perimeter. Bambi. Two more. on the floor for New York. Here's one of them, Jasmine Jones. And the shot clock, Walker creates the space. Can't get the roll. Robinson has it with five. Jackie Young misses, and that's the end of the first quarter. New York's hot start has them up by four. Some great passing in that first quarter, Leah. And, well, honestly, both teams have done a really good job passing and setting up and running their running their plays. And I think for New York, they have had tremendous uh, success being patient, baiting the defense uh, for the Aces to come out a little bit deeper on the perimeter. There you see those seven assists on 11 field goals made. That's very interesting. He wants his team running and gunning, taking a lot of three-point shots, only six attempts from downtown on those opening 10 because like you were saying earlier a lot of those backdoor passes and cuts to the basket were open sugar rogers into carolyn swords by the way shot doesn't go clarendon has four of the seven assists for new york find zowie b good hit for third three of the game Vegas currently on a 10-4 spurt. Trying to get back in it. Here's Jackie Young. Gets the roll off the front of the rim with the soft touch. Holmes the other way. Misses, but a foul is called. <laughs> He's starting to pick up here a little bit. And that's always fun. I think that's what New York did so well in those opening 10 minutes, Lee. It was the fact that they were quick, but they didn't hurry. And for this team that has had a lot of issues turning the ball over, that has to be exciting for a young coach seeing his team build off its first win with a strong start here. Well, you know, and I think for New York, sometimes you, you uh, play too fast. And that, that's where these two women come into play. Clarendon, Zowie B, they're going to keep the tempo and, and pace. They understand what the gas pedal needs to do at certain times and be the glue on the floor for this young squad. I know Clarendon said after the win when she was dribbling out the final seconds was, you know, to be honest with you, I felt more relieved we finally got that first win. Now we can just get that monkey off our back and get back to playing basketball. Absolutely, absolutely. Young inside earns a trip to the line as she continues to be active and aggressive for Las Vegas. But meanwhile, for New York, one in five started. Not to say it's totally expected, but I think this is something we've been saying the last couple of days preparing for tonight, Leah, is that no Sabrina Ionescu, it really opens up a lot of opportunities for a first-year head coach and for six other rookies on this roster right. that are just trying to use this experience in Bradenton this year to learn the pace of the game and what is going to work and what's not going to work. If you want longevity in the league, Sean, you've got to figure out a way to be on the floor. And for these rookies, this is their chance to shine and to show coach that, hey, when Sabrina comes back, you can plug me in the three. I feel comfortable playing the two. I can handle the ball for, for you. I can do this in that situation. So uh, players are utilizing their time wisely uh, until Sabrina comes back. And a now second-year player, Jackie Young, off to a hot start. They're making the pair at the line. Nice shot from the baseline, even with Danielle Robinson in her face. Odom with another basket to have six points. But Godfrey into Wilson. The spin, oh! That's too good. One of the best in the game, Asia Wilson. A 
day after celebrating her 24th birthday. Now looking like her usual self. And a steal by Hamby on the perimeter. All the way, defense to offense. And we're all tied up after Vegas trailed by as many as 10 and a half. And Sean, New York is trying to dictate this tempo now, trying to get back down the floor quickly. And keep in mind, too, that Angel McCautry has only touched the ball once, only had one attempt at the score for the Aces as they try to get back into this basketball game. Three no good from Holmes. Young rises and gives the Aces its first lead of the game. Grind it out. Time out, New York. Las Vegas, after a slow start, has come roaring back thanks to its defense. For Asia Wilson, and she is the gift that keeps giving for the Aces as they have their first lead of the game. Four for six for the floor, 11 minutes of action. And leading the way with eight points thus far. Her strength in going to the basket is helping the Aces have that opportunity, Sean, to establish themselves in the paint. And that is what they really need to do against. And be physical. Be physical against this New York squad. The dancing queen showing she has moves <laughs> on and off the floor. Yes, she and does. for Wilson, it, it's, again, another solid start for her and what is to be expected in what might be an MVP season from her. Yeah, yeah, I know she's your early pick. And uh, she's looking as strong as ever and leading the W in so many different departments. We're in the top five right now. Well, it doesn't take much to challenge her. No. In a win over the Sparks a couple of days ago, Bill Lambier was pretty upset with her when she didn't score in the third quarter and said, you know, I don't think you're competitive enough. She said it really ticked her off like Don Staley used to with her. <laughs> and she went out and scored 12 points in the fourth quarter en route to a four-point win. Meanwhile, out of the timeout, De'Erica Hamby claims the Aces foul. And New York will take it out of bounds from the sideline. Uh, Asia Wilson, uh, what she brings to this Aces team um, with her ability to get up and down the court for her height. Uh, she's so athletic. Shot change, shot block changer and uh, great wingspan. Now on the defensive in the block. Stokes has to kick it out to Zowie B. Her three is pure. It's her third one of the half, and it puts New York back on top. Just so smooth, Johnny. She didn't need too much space in there to take that shot. Very confident. Seven of 14 in her previous two games from deep. Lukatry, mid-range won't go. Another rebound for Amanda Zowie B. Clarendon blocked by Wilson. It'll oh. stay here. Wilson said, I thought she nicked it. It may have, but that wasn't going to happen. That wasn't going to happen in, in her house down in that part of the paint. One bit. Clarendon, easy block for the backside. Clarendon will take out underneath. Team leading by one. Stokes right back to Clarendon. Great ball movement. What big knockdown Knock down her fourth triple. She cannot be stopped. And Sean, once again, you know, just just looking so with an air of confidence. And, and that is infectious.
Apologies for some technical issues we've been having down in Bradenton, Florida. Some bad thunderstorms knocked out our internet connection for a couple of moments. Appreciate you sticking with us while we work through some of the issues. Kick out three for Odom into the shot clock will go. Vegas that took the lead for a New York minute, trying to get it back. Caleb McBride. Connect on the three. Sowie B already uh, closing, getting pretty darn close, Sean, to a double-double here. The way that she has performed in this first half of play, just been all over the floor for her Liberty team. Cutting hard to the basket. And instead of running into the traffic, that little fadeaway shot, which has now put her to the free throw line for her first opportunity of the afternoon. All six of her shots so far have been from three. See that why Las Vegas was a step late. They're not ready for the cut towards the basket. And now if she hits this free throw, we'll have as many points as she did in that first win against Washington on Friday. Two for two at the line. And it kicks the lead back up to six. And this goes back to what Walt Hopkins was saying. Is this a game of runs and we tell our team we have to withstand that we have to be strong and we can't let it affect us as there's a foul inside against one of the Liberty players. Nurse doesn't like the call, but it ends up being her first personal. And after leading 20 to 10, Liberty lost the lead at 30 to 28, now have scored eight straight. You know, Walt Hopkins talked about being able to take the punches that come as the game progresses. And I think New York has, has responded confidently. Uh, each time Vegas has started to go on a little bit of a run, just remaining composed. Clarendon gets the screen from Stokes. Flashes inside and hits the leader off glass. 
Six points to go with six assists for Clarendon. The veteran leader of this young New York squad. Cotri. Once again off the mark from the same spot in the mid-range. Darce works inside. Whips it out. Three no good, but an offensive board for Zowie. Uh, just a little too much mustard on that pass inside. Smokes able, unable to hold on. Six point lead for the Liberty. Get you on the other side. It's by Amanda Zowie B. Doing it all for the Liberty. Four threes in the first half to go with seven rebounds and has picked up right where she left off following the double-double in Friday's win. And I like it too. She's also added in a couple of assists. Just really patient with the offense, extending the defense out. She sees over the top of the defense and is either able to take the shot on her own or, whoa, we had a nice little look but a lightning right there. Uh, see it on her own or, you know, pass it off and find an open teammate right now. Hard to believe she was 3 of 15 from downtown in her first four games. Wilson powers through and gets the foul call against Zowie B. Because you know this Las Vegas team is more or less not going to hit a lot of shots from deep this year. They're going to be giving it to Asia Wilson in some of these spots and either getting lay-ins or get to the free throw line. Well, and as we were heading down here, the 2.42 to go in the second, I think it's, you know, Walt Hopkins time to think about things a little bit. You, you keep Zowie B in and, you know, take a chance on them going at her for a third foul before we get to the half, or do you give her a break? The bench has played very well for New York today and, and take your chances heading into the locker room. Jones creates separation to get the inbound. Pressure quickly backs off from Las Vegas. Hamby now matched up with Zowie B. Jones down the lane, and an offensive foul is called against the rookie guard. She walked right into that one, literally. Defense was already there, established. And that's where you've got to recognize. You may you may think that you want to take it to the hoop, but as you progress as a veteran, you've got to recognize that somebody is definitely open since two have come over to you. Trigger Rogers gives it right back to Wilson. Works around Dowie B, and that is her third personal foul. Huge liability. Shauna really thought that Coach Hopkins should have taken her out. Um, and now picking up the third, she has been so valuable in this first half of play for the Liberty. And thanks to Amanda Zowie B. New York has led for all but one possession in this game. with this team featuring six rookies on the roster. Trying to close this half strong and take a lead into the break. Wilson's free throws cut it to a three point game. Around the defense, Jocelyn Willoughby. Kick out three on the way. It won't go, Holmes fights for the rebound. And gives New York a second chance. Just a little bit of a height advantage for Joyner Holmes. Named after Jackie Joyner, and you saw a little bit of that uh, vertical effort there. Getting up over it. Retaining possession now is 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Liberty. Pass inside. Lines up in the hands of Odom, and now Clarendon resets. 
Off the screen with three. Can't draw iron, and it gives a chance for Vegas to run. Robinson, coast to coast, blows the layup. Jones, hangs, and a foul. See the speed there of Jazz Jones coming into play. Nice job trying to just take off the step and good job just going right to the hoop and giving herself an opportunity. Jones, the 12th pick in this year's draft. Great upside, Sean, uh, with her speed and quickness. Louisville's all-time leader in games played, and we look at that program, what Coach Walls has accomplished down there. And the wave of Cardinals players that have infiltrated the WNBA, like you're saying. You come from a winning program like that. <laughs> you almost understand how the game's supposed to work. An opportunity for Jones. Goes one to two at the line to make it a four point game. Robinson back inside, still can't make it with the left hand. Clarendon, kick out to Jones. Jabs, takes, can't make it. Trigger Rogers to Asia Wilson. Nice pass inside. And a lay-in goes for Wilson, who has 13 to lead all, or excuse me, to lead Las Vegas. Clarendon with separation. Puts hey. it in. Kind of hesitated a little bit, wondered if she should let it go. And yeah, I got enough separation here. Wilson deep in the post. Get it to go. Walt Hopkins calls from the sideline one shot for his team. A one second differential here to close what has been an incredible start through 20 minutes for New York. Step back, Jay. Oh, that's good. The first half of play. The first half of play on the score of Liberty, 44, pieces, 37. Amanda Zowie B leading the way for New York, taking a seven point lead into the break. B has been a force in the first half, leading the way for New York, who takes a seven point lead into the third quarter. Hard to see what she didn't affect in those first 20 minutes, Leah. She did just about a little bit of everything to get this Liberty offense going. Well, and it was all really from behind the three-point uh, line, and she did it from really different spots on the floor, which is, uh, you know, is, makes it difficult for any defender to come come out and take, you know, take that away. But I, but I thought that was interesting for Amanda is the fact that many times. She was put into a mismatch situation, so she really had a nice clear view of the hoop to decide to take it to the basket or just step back with confidence to garner one of those 14 points. The foul trouble is something to keep your eye out on her and something Asia Wilson did really well to close the second quarter was to just attack her and that's what put her in foul trouble. So how do you want to see her play to start the third? Well, I think you identify her quickly on the defensive side of the board. You might want to draw her away from the basket, not get her clogged up inside, down low, and in any type of situation going to the glass against Las Vegas. But on the and on the flip side, you can hear they're adjusting the clock to 9:55. On the flip side for for Vegas, uh, Sean, no question, Angel McCautry needs to get into the mix here. The Vegas cannot do this just riding on Asia Wilson. They need at least a two-headed monster or, or three. Young has provided that third element off the bench, but they need to get McCautry her touches. The two combined for 50 points and a four-point win over Los Angeles Friday. 
and highlighted it earlier. They're the number two scoring duo in the WNBA. The leading scorer, Asia Wilson, couldn't hit it. For the offensive rebound won by Carolyn Swords. Second chance, Lindsey Allen misses. And the rebound picked up by Alicia Clarendon. Six assists in that first half, and the ball movement was so strong. The reason why New York leads. Nurse from distance can't hit. But Katri controls. Just two points on one of four shooting. The bet sneaks inside and is too strong. Lob inside. Amanda Dowie B moves it back out. Good recovery by the Aces. Now Clarendon fouled as she hits the deck. Hit that elbow. The layup. Hit, her, hit her funny bone there hard going down on the floor. But third to get that ball up high enough over Swords to give herself an opportunity at the free throw line as she still rubs that one off. Expected to really take on a big leadership role even though she's coming off ankle surgery herself that limited her to nine games last year while with the Connecticut Sun, but has also been incredible off the floor as a leader. You know what I thought was interesting too, Sean? She said, this is, this is a humble player. She says, I am grateful to be one of the 144 players picked to be playing professional basketball. That's a pretty humble person who's a, who's a veteran of this league who, who really gets it. Knocks down Allen, and that is the foul against Clarendon, her second. Yeah, a little bit too aggressive there, and you can't be giving that up. Made an easy call. <laughs> Vegas still looking for its first points, the third. Allen spins inside, hesitate. It is denied oh. by Zowie B. <laughs> they went right at her. She stood tall, had the height advantage. Let's see if they can make it hurt here at the opposite end of the floor. Oda back up. And now she tries another three. That's pure. Amanda Zowie B is brought out a flamethrower tonight and has 17 to lead all scores. Looks it inside. Lost the handle thanks to Clarendon coming inside a double. Kia Nurse has space and now the switch. They want to go inside. Nurse, step back. Cotry goes away from the Wilson screen and hands off to Allen. Allen again got bumped on the shot. And a frustrated nurse commits her second. Uh, one end of the floor leads to a prize at the opposite end. Standing tall, have the height advantage, keeping those arms straight up, and Zoe B makes it work there. And then at the opposite end, the gift to put it up and down for another three and 17 on the night. Five for seven, all over points from three point land from the field. Morning. Morning, ladies. How about this from New York? They have led for all but 32 seconds in this game, largely because of the impact Amanda Zowie B has had inside defensively with her seven rebounds, but also the 17 points, five of which or three pointers isn't that crazy something and something you know you, we take for granted watching the players on the court amanda zowie b she went over and she must have taken some gum or something out of her mouth but typically you would walk right back to the line and get involved in the three free throw shooting but she had to go over to the bench and get some sanitizer first to wash her hands to come back into play Right back to her, whips it into the corner, and it was tapped out of bounds by McBride. 
Still seven seconds to shoot on this possession as Las Vegas looks to try to mount another comeback. That would be, uh-oh, wide open. You bet! A career day for Amanda Zowie B, showing no signs of slowing down here in the second half. Right now, New York, uh, Las Vegas does not have an answer on the matchup on the perimeter that can get back and cover the paint quick enough on Zowie B. Kicks it in from deep and the pass inside and burst. Couldn't finish the shot, but draws the foul on Kayla McBride. You know, these bigs, they get just as much excitement when they have an opportunity to make the nice big pass to their teammates and, and get that chance to finish. And, and with that now, New York with their uh, 11th opportunity is unfortunately Nurse can't get it to fall at the line tonight. Goes one for two on that trip. Still a comfortable lead built by New York. Looking for back-to-back -back wins after starting the season 0-5. Wilson powers up. That could be Zoe B's fourth. On the floor, that's where the foul is charged to, Leah. You said it. Had to wait for the clarification. She's telling, she's signaling back to Walt Hopkins, no, let me stay. <laughs> I have to wonder how much time she's going to be sitting on the bench. And if now that she's taken a seat, can Las Vegas get back to what they do well, and that's get stops on the other end. Zowie B has six of the seven made threes for New York today. Does New York become a little bit more deliberate with the basketball shot? Work that shot clock down a little bit more while they have advantage of this lead and really pick and choose their chances to, to run with the basketball. Start looking at the clock a little bit more. Inside, Robinson misses. Doesn't look like they're going to slow it down here. No numbers. Nurse decided to pull it anyways. At least no transition opportunities for Las Vegas. As we approach the midway point here in the third quarter. The Aces have only put up six points. Wilson doing all she can offensively. Another foul is called against New York. And Kia Sign. Stokes, you know, we haven't talked about Kia Stokes a lot, Sean. She only has four points tonight, but she has done so much on the boards. Uh, already eight rebounds in this game and really led the ball in transition the opposite way numerous times for this New York squad. Inside again. The foul call. Jackie Young earns another trip to the foul line. How strong and aggressive has she been? And it was one of those things that goes back to what she talked about in her rookie season that was at times inconsistent. And that's what you have to remember about some of these players, Leah, is as she really focused on weightlifting this offseason, going from the NCAA Final Four to being selected number one in the 2019 draft, she had three days. Not only to decide, but then being drafted and then going to become a professional, she said, you know, I wasn't ready for it. Right. And, and now and after some time off, and she said, I know what to work on now, she thinks it's made all the difference. Totally made all the difference. And the great thing about Jackie Young is she's so versatile. She can play the one, the two, and the three. And on nights like this, when pieces aren't completely jiving, you just slip her into that, that next role. And her defense was the key in coming back against L.A. Friday. The Aces have struggled on this end. 
and a foul call that goes against Danielle Robinson. And that takes us to a timeout with 4.49 to play in the third. New York continues to build a lead again. In can do for a young team and after starting 0-5. What a job done by Walt Hopkins and this New York Liberty Bunch using that momentum to catapult them to an impressive game here today. It pulls the team together when you're able to get that win. And, you know, you're, you're trying to look for improvement. Amanda Zowie B one is certainly one of the key cogs. Uh, and, and you're having fun, and that's what it's all about. 20 points right now. Sitting uh, sitting down for a little bit with four fouls and eight boards. But, um, you know, it's... it's you see the progression, but there's nothing like having the W as a reward for that progress. Out of the shot clock, Jones did not get it off in time. A rare mistake made by New York, where they have looked flawless at times. But then now the seventh turnover of the game by the Liberty. And the reason why they continue to lead, Leah, is kind of what you said before the game. It, you have to take care of the ball and limit the opportunities for Las Vegas to get out and run. With that Zowie B on the floor, it's going to be Kia Stokes and Clarendon that I think are going to have to be the blue holders for this team to kind of weather the storm a little bit. You know the Aces are going to come back. You know they're going to provide a little bit of a punch. McCartry has not gotten going yet. She's only had five touches on the game, two points in 14 minutes. That foul called against Erica Hamby. She's trying to create a little bit too much space for Jackie Young. Well, a 10-point game. Jones has it stripped. Wilson doing all she can to carry the team for now. Robinson down the lane and puts it in for two. Everybody got co so caught up in the assignments that uh, they forgot to slide over and help out. After back-to-back -back turnovers, Clarendon gets pumped by Robinson. Watch the quick hands with Wilson. And then the push quickly. The eyes up the floor looking at the option. And wow, what a first step. And taking it right at Clarendon to go right to the hoop. Clarendon off the Stokes screen, lob inside, and the finish. Wilson wants it, and the double comes. Young with a long two, sticks it. difference for Las Vegas, a team that attempts the fewest three-point, three-pointers, excuse me, per game at about 10, and haven't hit one tonight. Pull up Jay, that's no good, the rebound to Wilson. Quickly inside to Hamby. Shoot two with the line. We're finally, finally seeing Las Vegas push the tempo thanks to what they're creating off misses. Push the tempo and just attacking the paint, attacking the paint. They were struggling trying to find the paint really until Zowie B came out, but that is definitely their mission right now. Take it to the basket, go strong. And if we don't get it to fall, have an opportunity to at least get to the free throw line where they are shooting a solid 86% right now. And you know, Hamby, as you mentioned, coming out of that last break, Leah, Vegas's run will happen. And Hamby is one of those disruptors on both ends. She's like her three-year-old Amaya running around the wobble because she's just <laughs> wreaking havoc on the floor. And it's what's powered Hamby to a career year so far. And her 10 off the bench has helped Vegas get back in this game. And an offensive foul called against Kia Stokes. That's her third. Offensive foul number 49, Kia Stokes. 
That's her turn. New York has led for all but 32 seconds in this game. Extra pass from Hamby. Have a drive inside and a foul called and more free throws coming for Las Vegas. Good kick. Good penetration inside, Sean, that created the uh, wide open look from the outside. Everybody's so focused trying to make sure that there's coverage inside the paint due to the uh, lack of height and recognizing that quickly. Jasmine Jones charged with her fourth foul. Rogers, meanwhile, misses just the third free throw of the game for Vegas. For a team that doesn't make a lot of threes, they try to cash in when they can at the line, and it's now a five-point game. Claren who has eight assists tonight. Directing the offense once again. Megan Walker inside the lane. Puts it in as the shot clock poker sounds. A big basket going into the final minute of the third. But Amanda Zowie B picked up her fourth foul with a 10-point New York advantage. Trying to gain some ground with her on the bench. A friendly drop-in for Asia Wilson. Jocelyn Willoughby, the rookie from Virginia. One-on-one -on -one against Young, puts it in, plus the foul. As a youthful player, known a little bit more right now for her defensive side, but the uh, flavor of her offense starting to come alive here. Bringing that East Orange toughness to the yep. floor. There you go. She gets three the hard way to kick it back up to an eight-point lead. You know, and if, if I'm Walt Hopkins, I'm, I'm pretty pleased right now with, with Zowie B having gone on the bench with a 10-point lead. Another, another pop and a good pop by Las Vegas with Amanda Zowie B on the bench. And if they've weathered the storm, I think pretty good is we're gonna get set to go into the fourth quarter here shortly. After Hamby's three, shot won't go for Walker. The rebound winds up in the hands of Sugar Rogers. Vegas can push for a two for one here. Quickly work it into Wilson, the mismatch. And after taking a seat on the floor, the foul called against Willoughby. Set Wilson to the line for her seventh and eighth free throw attempts today. Good positioning, and you watch her just trying to get that wide base to get that ball inside. She knew exactly where she was going, Sean. Once she got to her spot and called for the ball, when she called for the ball, she was ready to have it and knew exactly which way she was going to turn. We used to call that mouse in the house. Mouse in the house. We did not call that mouse in the house. <laughs> but hey, whatever works. No matter what you call it, Asia Wilson has been sensational to start yes, her third WNBA season. And is carrying her team like any MVP would. Gamby intercepts. Kicks it out to Rogers. Shot clock is turned off for the time being. If you look above the basket, pretty much even with the clock. Robinson gets it poked away from behind. Four on three, Willoughby to the rack and blows the layup. At the buzzer, off the backboard from Rogers as we head to the fourth quarter. Walt Hopkins' team has led most of this game and are withstanding the current Aces run. Hmm. 
Hawks in the WNBA season through two weeks. Asia Wilson's put up her end of the bargain. Why is Angel McCautry struggling? Defense uh, has really clogged her up, not allowing her to get the basketball, receive the basketball, only had five touches thus far in the game. She is having to work every spot she moves on the floor tonight. You can stop one, you're great. If you can't stop both, you're in deep trouble. And McCautry, who is uh, resting up right now, looking on, trying to figure out how to break that nut. It's no easy feat keeping the number 14 score in WNBA history on one of five shooting. Clarendon maneuvers and floats it up and in. Nearing a double-double as she now has 10 points to go with eight assists. Five on the shot clock. Jackie Young can't get the roll. And the rebound controlled by the Liberty's Kia Stokes. Also a big reason why New York continues to lead there. Plus three in the rebounding department. Limiting any second chance for the Aces. Megan Walker, the rookie for UConn, hands off to Nurse. Her three, halfway down and out. Walker gets it back. And will shoot two. Nice job to keep this ball alive and go directly back up with it. Just kind of just to, like tap it to herself to keep it alive. Great job. Walker who arrived late to the wobble after a positive COVID test trying to show her coach what she can do on the floor. I know if you've watched UConn the last couple of years, you know what Walker's capable of. As you see Asia Wilson check back in. Stokes grabs the offensive rebounds and a chance to extend the six-point lead. Clarendon on the switch. Good recovery. Three, won't fall. That was a big opportunity that they let go by. with Amanda Zowie B still on the sidelines with her fourth foul. Wilson powers up for two more and has another 20-point game. The WNBA's leading scorer doing everything she can. Walker misfires. Wilson. Trips. Robinson couldn't get it. Long pass up ahead. Dangerous pass. And it went out of bounds. Every possession is like the last possession right now. And while you want to try to go for that home run pass, you know, you just, you, they would have been much better off just slowing it down, taking a little time off the clock, running their set. Bill Ambeer still looking for a barber. His hair continues to get gray by the minute. Now, Amanda Zowie B back into the game with her four fouls. Nearly sat 10 minutes. Wilson with the shake and shimmy. It won't go, but a foul is called. It's on Joyner Holmes. Just her first, but Coach Hopkins not a fan. No, not a lot of people not a fan right now on the box out. Wilson, who averages the second most free throw attempts per game in the WNBA, about to shoot her 10th foul shot. And after missing the first, she's made nine straight. Pitching. 
Doing everything she can for her team that has led for all but 30 seconds. Trailed, I should say. Bar three, that's good. A big response from New York. Joyner Holmes, the number 19 pick in this year's draft. Getting the lead back up to five, and Wilson wastes no time in earning another trip to the free throw line and putting a foul on the rook. Patience working off the screen and right into the corner, and a nice job as Asia Wilson did not come out and at least get a hand up. But making it pay here at the opposite end of the floor, 11th opportunity at the line. Good thing for uh, Coach Bill Lambert's bench. Hamby and Young, both with 13. They have provi uh, provided the spark. That's what he loves so much from his group off the bench. Now trying to provide that surge to get over the hump here at Holmes. This is the runner. The rebound to Wilson. Now over to McBride for an open three. No good, but the offensive board to Young. Robinson one on one, loses the handle, and it's a steal. Jones moves it up ahead and Holmes lays it in. Both teams, too, Sean, I think are doing a really good job making the extra pass today. Early on in the season, everybody was being methodical. Going, you know, like, okay, this, you go here, you go here, and, and just thinking about how to get from point A to point B. You can see much more confidence and patience in the way that each team is operating their offensive sets. Robinson misses. Here's Kia Nurse. Now B wants it in the post and nearly had it taken away. Nurse pulls up. Battle for the board. It goes back to Las Vegas, who trailed by five. We're coming down to the wire. This one close between New York and Vegas. Midway point of the fourth quarter. Here's our game summary. Leo, what stood out to you in this matchup? Well, one thing that has stood out to me is a balanced effort that New York has provided and the lack of turnovers by both teams. I think they've really taken care of the basketball. I love the way that the leaders in Zoui B and Wilson have really carried and been true leaders uh, for their teams. The compliments have been there when they've needed it. Some surprises as far as Agent McCarthy really being held silent, and you've got to credit you know, like I, I, in this play here, Kia Stokes is is guarding her tightly and really not allowing her the basketball. Excuse me, Odom on that play, not allowing her the basketball. But they defensively, it's been a group, group effort really on Angel McCarthy most of the game. Just five touches. What an effort by Jackie Young tonight, coming off the bench with 13 points. Amanda Zowie B off the mark on the three, and Las Vegas can tie on the possession. McBride 0 for 6, finally puts in her first shot of the game. That's the thing, you just don't want someone else starting to go off than, than the norm that you've been covering most of the game. Alicia Clara didn't look like she wanted the timeout as she crossed midcourt. And finally, Walt Hopkins gives her some relief. New York looking to build off its first win of the 2020 season. Well, they held Washington to 66 points Friday nights, but it's been a very similar defensive effort. And as Las Vegas has made the charge back, what does New York need to do to close out another win in the final minutes? They just have to be patient. Be patient, 
take care of the ball, make the extra pass, come back to the basketball, move that ball around. I think try to establish their, their offense early because if they don't, they start to panic a little bit and rush and get themselves in, in not too good places on the floor. But those two women right there are the key, I think, down this stretch. And in the background, as you see Kia Stokes walk out of frame, um, she has been, you know, like a silent, a silent leader tonight for them as well with her 11 rebounds and six points. Nurse trying to find an inbound. Finally. That was a long, that was a long Mississippi. <laughs> Clarendon drives the lane, blocked by Wilson. And six seconds remain on the shot clock. Clarendon the inbounds. Odom back to Clarendon. Loses the handle and can't heave it up at the end. A great defensive possession. And now Las Vegas can take the lead potentially for just the second time tonight on this possession. Gonna need good communication here. Watch them try to get this ball into Wilson. Young. Back to Wilson for an open J. Missed it, but McCautry fights for the offensive rebound. But it was last touched by the Aces veteran. Clamped down on Angel McCautry there. She thought she was being held. Here comes the methodical walk. We have a nail biter going into the final four minutes. New York looking to finish with this young group. Odom, the rookie, draws a foul on the floor. You know, you think about the, the five on the floor. You've got Lacia Clarendon, a lot of veteran experience. You've got Kia Stokes and certainly Nurse, who have had experiences, you know, in their days with Connecticut to to be in tight ball games and, and, and know how to figure it out. So while they're young, they've been in these moments long enough. And there's one of those UConn stars, Kia Nurse, with a big three-pointer to make it a two-possession game. And an offensive foul called against Kayla McBride trying to free up some space. Just when it seems like Las Vegas is going to get over the hump, New Kayla York McBride. has responded with a big shot. Yeah, Kayla McBride may have just gotten teed up. A technical foul on number 21, Las Vegas, Kayla McBride. He and Nurse will shoot it's been a team. frustrating day for McBride, Bill Lambeer, and this Aces squad. Nurse, who was one of four at the line today. It's the technical to make it a five-point game. Some of these errors starting to get magnified in the waning moments. Clarendon fakes it, now goes out to Stokes. Her three no good, Zowie B had the offensive rebound knocked out of her hands. McCautry spins inside. Little hesitation step going away from the double team. And that away turned her inside action to a higher percentage shot. Clarendon harassed by Young and an offensive foul called against the Liberty Guard. One possession game, 2.49 to play. The finale on the other side. Pretty defensive effort from New York all game, holding one of the most potent offenses to 70 points coming down to the final minutes.
If you're Bill Lambeer coming out of the huddle in that last timeout, Leah, what are you telling your team and what are you drawing up for a look here? Well, you're drawing up to get the ball in the hands of Wilson because if she doesn't have anything, at least she has the height advantage to be able to look, you know, she's confident and protective of the basketball and will be able to distribute it right or left if there isn't a shot available for her. Inbound to Jackie Young, who's been great these last couple of games. You can see they're double teaming her right now, fronting her and from behind. Let her get the ball as far out for the three-point line extended. But they're very conscientious of where she is with the basketball. Wilson into the shot clock, somehow gets it to fall. It wasn't pretty, but it's still a one-point game. Wilson with 27 points. Trying to lead this team to a win. And traffic causes a foul. Yeah. Just popping back out where she felt comfortable. She wasn't sure if she's going to take it from a country and then just found just enough room off of Kia Stokes to be able to turn and get that good shot off. McCautry was called for her third personal foul. Clarendon with space. Very thick. Shot after big shot. Seven year veteran out of Cal makes it a four point game. Back to Wilson. Cuts it in two. <laughs> Get it into the sure hand, both ends of the floor. Both these teams trading blows as we approach the final minutes. It's been one uppercut after another. The recovery there by Wilson to slow. Clarendon down. Odom loses the handle. End of the shot clock. And with one second left on the timer, we have a jump ball. McCautry nearly hit the pocket and had a transition chance. by two with 130 to play getting everything sorted out for a critical jump ball you can see Walt Hopkins directed to his point guard Laisha Clarendon just get back defensively and now let's see what the call on the floor is because Clarendon did go into the circle unwarranted. We'll see if a technical foul will go against her. Going into the circle. And and uh, Walt Hopkins had asked. That's what it is, just a delay of game warning. You get the warning before the technical free throw. But nearly a critical mistake here, the final 90 seconds. It's McBride and Odom to jump. Yeah, knowing there was only one second on the shot clock, Walt Hopkins just wanted to make sure that his players were going to be back and not allow for that fast break bucket at the opposite end. Young back to Wilson, has space, but can't tie it up. But Kotri gets it back, and we are tied at 76. Biggest bucket of the game for Angel McCoffrey. And kept stagnant most of the night. And another offensive foul called against the Liberty. But for Angel McCoffrey, who had just two points going into the fourth quarter, like you said, she's come up with a couple of huge buckets late. Come up with a couple of huge buckets. And also, I think what's gotten lost in this too, Sean, is She's had a couple of opportunities where she's kept offensive sets alive, coming up with a big board, an offensive board, a board at the opposite end, a tip ball at the opposite end. So you may not be scoring all the time, but you're still getting involved in other ways. Number 14 leading score in history, passes. Now with Wilson, spins in the lane, and it's blocked. Stokes has it for New York. All tied up at 76. Yeah. 
Nice recovery by Young. Clarendon. It falls off the rim. And with about a three second differential between the shot and game clock, Bill Lambier calls timeout. What a finish. We step aside as Las Vegas goes into the huddle looking to draw up the game winning play. 32 seconds tonight, and it's been some key plays late that have them tied. The fadeaway by Wilson with 29 points, having your hands on the ball, and then getting in position into McCartney, tapping it, himself, keeping it alive. The big bucket, only six points, five boards, but key the times that those have happened. No hesitation. That's what you see from one of the game's best scorers. Do you think they go to McCautry or Wilson here? I think they definitely go to Wilson, giving herself an opportunity to get to the free throw line if she cannot find enough spacing to take that shot. McBride to inbounds into the hands of the second year guard, Jackie Young. Defended tightly by Clarendon. Making it uncomfortable up top so she cannot get in position to distribute the ball. They give it to Wilson. Inside, pulls up. Vegas takes the lead. 6.9 to play. Timeout, New York. A big time bucket. Asia Wilson. Another impressive day in her MVP campaign. Nice job in stepping in to that elbow area inside the paint where she was able to easily touch it off the glass. Hard work there. Silky smooth and confident. And Asia Wilson now has 31 points tonight. I didn't know how she was going to go a day after her 23rd birthday, but 24 seems like to be her Kobe year so far. 10 for 17 from the floor, 11 for 12 from the line. Oh yeah, I had three blocks, two assists, five boards. Now what for, for the Liberty, what they're drawing up? No question, bringing it down, getting it into Clarendon's hands. And we haven't talked about Amanda Zowie B for a while here, Sean. Uh, and, you know, she's been stuck on that 20. I look for them to try to get her the ball with her back to the basket. Have her step back, maybe try to make something happen. If not, find a cutter to go to the hoop with the ball on a nice soft pass on a handoff. Asia Wilson has given her team the lead in the final seconds. Now needing a defensive stop to secure the team's fourth straight win. A win would also put Vegas in a tie for second in the league standings. Meanwhile, New York looking to tie or win it at the end and cap off an incredible weekend after starting the year 0 for 5. Clarendon to inbound with McCautry in her face. Give it into the corner. The three on the way. It's no good. Ball still alive. And they say it was last touched on the end line by Las Vegas following the Kia Nurse miss. Very difficult to tell right there whether they were out, out of bounds. Go. And coming away with a 74-66 win against Washington on Friday. And looking like a team that isn't just going to lay down in this 22-game season. They are coming back swinging. You know, they started to get a little, little mojo about them after the uh, victory against Washington. They call it a tip basketball. And the call on the floor has changed. It's Las Vegas basketball. And Bill Lambier wisely calls timeout so he can move the ball into the front court to inbound with less than two seconds remaining. They pointed, they pointed to Vegas. They pointed to Vegas, but now there seems to be some confusion in the way Bill Lambier is reacting that it may actually 
be the Liberty's basketball. All right, so we beg your pardon. While they did point the way of Las Vegas's basket, it is New York basketball. 1.9 seconds left. Clarendon will trigger in again. And now adding two-tenths of a second. Two point one seconds left. And a timeout called before the five second inbound violation. Oh boy, has New York been quick on some of these. Nearly avoiding the turnover. And one chance to draw up a potential game tying or game winning play. Leo, what do you do in this huddle? Well, I think no question for New York, they, they've, uh, you know, they get it to uh, Clarendon and get it in her hands and then try to just toss something over to, uh, to Zowie B and let her go to work. Let her come off of a screen, maybe a, a drag screen and, and let her go to work. You don't have to win it here. You just got to bring it to extras. And uh, Amanda has that confidence. There's plenty of time. Clarendon has her pass tapped away by Wilson. And nearly a full second goes off the clock. And that's a difficult spot to inbound the ball. Going inside, it's taken away by Young, but as she falls out of bounds, was there time remaining? Hey, <laughs> Bear, that's game. Coach wants to shake hands, but that's I don't right. think it's going to be that simple because why would it be simple after the way his team has had to fight back all game? Yeah. The clock was already, the clock had already started, so that's the, the problem they're they're going to have as uh, they try to figure this one out of where the clock is. Trying to see if initially Jackie Young's right foot was out of bounds. Maybe six tenths of a second, possibly, back on the clock. And I was going to say, too, that first look, Leah, doesn't seem like she was out of bounds. It was only no. when her momentum carried her out with, like you said, about half a second remaining. Yeah. A dramatic finish as we make our way towards the end line. New York came out hot. And thanks to the three-point shooting of Amanda Zowie B. Led by as many as 12 throughout the first and second half. They withstood most runs, but it was Las Vegas finding a different gear. And thanks to Asia Wilson's 31 points have taken the lead in the final 10 seconds. Yeah, you know, and, and for, uh, for Vegas, credit them. They utilized the time that Zowie B was on the bench. She picked up her fourth. Uh, she picked up her third going into halftime, picked up her fourth early in the third, and they chipped down on that lead. Half a second still remains for New York. Point, point five seconds. There'll be one, five seconds on the clock. Won't be much time to get a shot off, but at least a chance. Liberty basketball. New York has had trouble inbounding this entire game. In the fourth quarter. Zowie B, who has been amazing. Will she get one final chance here? Lob inside, and the clock started before it was caught by Liana Odom. So 
by rule if the clock started before it was touched as you can see yeah, it was definitely it clearly started they would have to redo the inbound not go forward as if the clock started when it touched Odom's hand correct very big difference in what was a perfect look out of the huddle for New York Please, the clock started running early by rule there will be a review to determine time and position. Well, we what know it's flick. the same possession. We know it's the same time because it's coming, you know, it's an easy, but they do have to take a look at it out of the play. I, I would think, you know, one of your safety valves uh, on the play is nurse coming off a screen on the backside as, as a backside shot for a jumper on the outside and then have somebody darting to the hoop for a layup type play on the inside, much like they, they tried that last time. Dustin Gray was in the huddle for New York, drawing up what hopes to be a second chance here for the Liberty. A game that doesn't seem to want to end. It's been a fun one on this Sunday afternoon as we stretch <laughs> into the night. He's smiling down to Lambeer. <laughs> Bill looking a little antsy like he has to get back to the Cobra Kai Dojo. too sure what they're still checking out here but finally looks like we're ready to try again with five tenths of a second remaining so it'll just be as simple as a redo it was a perfect look off the inbounds for New York but they'll have to create some last second magic again All you'll have is time to catch and shoot. That look really sums it up there. Now time to see if New York has a second, last second chance to tie or win the game. McCautry defends the inbound again. Picked by McCautry. And Vegas has come back to win it. It's their fourth straight win, and boy, do they have to earn it today. And Asia Wilson right there, all over the floor for her team, really kept the cohesiveness together as uh, Alicia Clarendon trying to find that right cutter to the hoop, and a great job by McCautry to tip that basketball and preserve the victory for the Aces as she points over to coach Bill Lambeer. Her first year on a new team, and boy, she made a great impact. Angel McCautry with a couple of clutch baskets and a final tip right off her fingers to secure the win. This is weird, okay. 